All right, guys, welcome back. This is going to be the start of Deluge. So this map I have not have not played. I hear it is one of the hardest maps in Mudrunner. Lednor, welcome in. So yeah, we are going to take our time. GS the Mighty, welcome in as well. <clears throat> We're going to take our time and uh, hopefully we don't fail too hard. So What's up, Horn Cat? Welcome in. We are going to take a sip of this coffee and I'm going to grab one of these trucks here and we're going to try to make this uh, this happen. Way, way, way too hot. What's up, Core Home? Welcome in. All right, cool. Let's. All right, so I have the six. What is this? Six, seven, 6317 and I have the 4310. So, I don't know which one I want to um, <clears throat> take across first. I almost want to take this one first. I haven't really played this one much. Um, I think the 4310 could make it. Um, but, wow, look at that. That is insane. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is insane. Okay, so, uh, I'm not taking this route first. Um, for another time, I think we'll start out with this. This this looks like garage trailers. Oh right, yeah, looks like garage trailers right there. Let me turn down my sound a little bit here. The flock is always on. That is lovely. Wow, this truck sounds great, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a garage trailer. Uh, you aren't supposed to do that. We're just supposed to hitch. There we go. Cool. Oh, this is a good looking truck, man. It looks like... Could I just... It looks like... If this looks like a face, right? It looks like the eyes are like showing like an expressive look. Like they're like, um, <laughs> like you're surprised, right? <laughs> when I look at this truck, I'm like, this truck is surprised. <laughs> oh man, maybe it's too early. Maybe it is too early. So I take it this covered tent. That I have on this truck right now because I don't have a garage to start with. I take it this is um yeah I, I take it that's something alright I think it's actually repair points so stupid. I should have started that way back on the road. So you know something I was thinking actually? Can I get this in high gear? Absolutely. Um, always on diff lock really doesn't mean much in this game. It, it really doesn't. I'm actually going to go this way, I think. Get this first right. Hopefully these end up in... Uh, <clears throat> Always on diff matters on simulator? What do you, what do you mean? So in Mudrunner, I don't think it matters because even if you have a switchable diff lock, you can toggle it on and off at any point. That's that's kind of what I what I mean. Is my point is that it doesn't really matter because I can toggle on diff lock at any point without a, without really any, any any penalties, to my knowledge. On trucks that can have them. 
why am I why am I coming down this way? Oh, there's a tower. So, what's WON one simulator difficulty is like snow, and you can diff lock only on the. Like I just wasted gas here. Coming down this way and then having to turn around, I could have just went that direction. There was a, a road that forked, I believe, and I think I went left. Let me get some fuel savings here. No. Oh man, yikes. So it looks like <sighs> this is all looks super deep. <clears throat> this spot doesn't look that bad right here, going like leading over to this, but there's this deep spot right here. I'm actually gonna avoid. What's up, Dan? Welcome in. rolled out. So I think I'm going to try to see what this other crossing looks like right here where this trail meets the the actual water and then I'll, I'll just kind of like look at the water when I get close and see if it's something I think is doable so yeah <clears throat> first playthrough okay uh wow Why do I almost think this was a better move to go this way? <laughs> no, it's not actually. There's a bunch of deep right there. <clears throat> uh, so I think Hmm. Just gonna map this out. What's up, Cyrax? Good morning. This doesn't look actually this doesn't look too bad right here. Hit the island. You know what? I think I messed up. I think this is this is where we go. I think this is like the best case scenario. Is like here. Probably gonna take damage here when I go up on there, but that's okay. But then again, I could go. Hmm. It's very interesting. But I think this is the way. I think this is the way. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Because then after that, I go here, here, up onto here. Boom. And then, I, and then I'm, I'm guessing it's straight across. 
I, I literally wasted gas. <clears throat> so. There's more than one way? Okay, that's good. Just can't believe I wasted that much gas. Hopefully we have enough cast gas to get through. We will see. Mandalorian is on the way. Is that a is that a game or is that a I know it's a show, but Oh yes, driving over the same stuff for the third time. Oh yes. We like doing this type of stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to be crossing. The fun is about to start. Hopefully this snorkel here can uh, keep us afloat. Okay, well, here we go. And we cross. down a little second. I don't need to be, be that much wheel spin. Don't need that much wheel spin. This is definitely good enough. This truck is handling this uh, remarkably well, actually. But, I mean, of course it would. It's a, it's a four-star truck. Let's be real. Let's be real. I, I know I'm pretty sure I could have done it with the 4310. I'm almost positive I could have. I mean, I guarantee there's been folks that have done done this with lesser trucks. So I, I think I know it, it's definitely doable. I wonder if I could have done this with the, uh, the B131. A second, let's zoom in here. Okay, yeah, just bear to my right a little bit. Okay, well, there's the first crossing. Dunzo. Okay, guys. Pretty, pretty good. Oh yeah, there's a surprise truck. You talking about like these over here? <clears throat> the K700 and the 538? Or you mean like, like prior to crossing? We might use the other truck to try to cross the other way. So, um, I need to figure out a way to the garage. So that's kind of like my, my next point is I need to get to the garage or yeah, that's way over there. Fuel stations way over there. Okay. I'm, I guess that I just take this road and follow this road for now, I guess I see road. I take it. You know what I like about the detail of this game? 
where the map has not been discovered. I like that they have the same tires on this truck, like right for this bear. That looks awesome. Like it's the same OHS too. What do you mean where the map has not been discovered? You like mean where like the watch points are? Oh dude, we're rolling, baby. We're rolling. I have to do something. We're gonna take a picture here. I know everyone's gonna hate me, but it's okay. Do this while it's daytime. Settings, full screen, native. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna discover the whole map. Like, I'm gonna get watchtowers and stuff. It's just, I'm not necessarily worried about the watchtowers right now. So yeah, we will discover the watchtowers. So don't worry. I'm just right now. I'm focused on getting over to the garage and getting access to fuel. And potentially getting this truck fitted out that I can start refueling other trucks. Even though I kind of want to use this. I haven't used this for logs yet. Uh, I don't know where to go. I guess I'm just going to go this way. Uh, yeah, there's the compass. I'm going to head northeast. Go like east, like eastbound. That's kind of like where I think the garage is. Yeah. truck is awesome, man. It's just eating through this. Okay, now I have, an, I have a question, actually. <clears throat> uh, I think go straight. My question is, is it worth it to, to have a truck winch behind you and to go through that, that river? I don't know if it works the same way as, as SnowRunner, but I would say crossing that river twice to me is, I don't want to say it's a waste of time. I don't want to use that word, but it would be a lot of time to go back and forth, back and forth. When I can just bring two trucks, one winch behind me, medium logs, boom, done. What's up, Scorpy? Good morning. Do I see pavement? Is that a pavement road? What? Hold on a second here. It is. What am I doing? Just get over to auto. Thank you. <clears throat> A pavement road. All right. Well, I think this is the gas station. No, this is the garage. I'm pretty sure this is garage. Yeah.
Alright, cue the music. Yeah, that's what we're rolling with the fuel cistern right now. <clears throat> okay, I'm heading to the fuel station, and then after that, I'm heading to... Unlock all these towers, and then I'm gonna go unlock all these trucks. That's exactly what we're doing. What's up, Ricky? Welcome in. That's filled up. Nice. Alright, let's go. Um, looks like go back toward the garage and head to this watch point. So, that's what we'll do. Now it's all discovering. Is that watch point? Okay, it's gotta be like over here through the woods. Is there a road? Do they even have a road going to it or no? I have to actually pick my way through the woods. It has to be a road. If not, figure it out. Yo, Luke, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. What is going on? Why is it so... There. Just so I have a reference now. <laughs> so they're driving around. <clears throat> I think I should play this on the Nintendo Switch. I think it's up to you. I think it's a good game. I Here's why I like this game, to be honest, is that you can quickly... You can quickly play this game. Okay, now we're going to go down to this watch point here. Um, you can quickly play this game. And what I like about it is you can pick it up and put it down. Same with, same with SnowRunner. You can pick up SnowRunner and put it down at any time. But the thing is, I like this because you can sit down for like you know two or three hours and finish a map and in totality do you know what i'm saying and then then you after that at that point you can just choose whether or not you want to do you know hard mode or, or hardcore or whatever you call it so yeah it's just i like the the bare bones it's not like the trucks have what they have I like it. On my way, I went to the north, to the K700, and then the west, the garage, and it was a pain. I almost running out of fuel. My truck, wow. Yikes. Well, I actually, since I'm down here, you know what I might do? I might actually try to cross this. I think I have to. I think I have the gas to do it. So let's check. It has to be nighttime, you know? It just has to be. Hmm. Can't really see much, but I'm going to head toward these islands. This is called Deluge.
Yeah, this doesn't look too deep. I can like see down, see down the bottom of the, the riverbed right now. So I think we'll be okay. Bump down the wheel spin. Oh, that was a dive. Oh, so it's remade from flood. Okay, I'm gonna have a sip of this coffee, guys. Take a little quick. Oh, there we go. That's great. Sorry, I never played spin tires, so... I heard these all these maps are basically like remakes from spin tires or most of them. All right, nice. Here's this watchtower. <laughs> the truck is sip of river, yeah, basically. All right. Cool. Okay, so now I know <clears throat> pretty much that came directly from here that's so yeah it's basically just straight shot this is this is probably even a better route to be honest straight across here at the point at this little point right here just straight toward that beeline i guess i don't know anyways i am going to try <laughs> and make it i could actually just go around here you know we're gonna do that get to here and then we're gonna make this jump I think maybe it's either that or I make the jump like or I basically continue maybe when I get here I'll look and maybe I'll just like kind of drive through all this jazz and then kind of maneuver that way we'll see the way the road is the best really I get, let me get close and then I'll take a look at the water Let me get close here. Let me take a look at this water. <laughs> you tried to clown me. Wait. I can actually alter this though. So I can go like this. Here. Go this way. And then I basically can kind of like go with here. There. I think that's okay. That I think it'll. I, I can do that. Let's try it. Didn't have access to the depth bars. They do trial and errors to get across. Ooh, that's that sounds rough. Okay, this is not bad. So I think I go like this. Uh, can I just not do that? Here to here to here to here to there to there. And I think when I get to there, um, I might be able to just go straight ahead. We'll see. spin looks good let's do it how we doing so far guys for any of those who played this already how we doing bad good okay I can see the, the, the bottom yeah the depth markers make it so much easier I didn't know they didn't have those in uh and spin tires. 
But I guess the only other way to, to actually navigate is just looking down. I'm doing way better than you did. Good morning, Relentless. I think, I think just being able to look down. But also, like, I am using a four-star truck. This is a four-star truck. But honestly, I, I believe the 4310 could do this. I, I absolutely believe it. I'm doing horrible. What's up? What's up, District Wolfman? Okay, I'm gonna stop here and just take a look. I'm pretty sure I can just keep continuing. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna go straight. The 4310 can do it indeed. Okay. I wonder if both of the, uh, like the C260, if the Urals can do this. I'm guessing they can. I don't, I don't see a reason why they wouldn't be able to do this. I probably think most three-star trucks can do this. You think you use the 260? Okay. So yeah, they can do it. Oh nice, here's the K700. Hey buddy, what's going on? And then there's the... Truck I will not use. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. K700's unlocked. Sounds good. Okay, so I think for me to cross, if I was to cross back over to the lumber mill, which I think, to be honest, I almost think this way is easier. Maybe not. Actually, maybe not. I don't. I don't think so. I should consider mod maps. We could. I think crossing over here. I think it's basically follow this. Or it's either going up to this point, crossing over, or trying to get across, or going like this, and just heading for these islands, and kind of just going through. Logically, that's what I would do. That's how I think it's, it's it plays. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to recover to the garage. Wait, where's this watch point at? I guess there must be land that comes down through here. I think I'm going to recover to the garage just to save time. Yeah, and then... And then we're going to go scout. <clears throat> so fuel station again. Come down here, hit over this way. And then I think, yeah, we'll go that way. Oh, it's an island in the middle. Okay. Well, we'll just, uh, we'll have to. I have to. Okay, fill it up, fill it up. Let's go. I wonder though, if I can just head this way. You know what I'm saying? Just let's do this. Let's just put this here. And I'll just try to like free roam this. Yeah, we'll just free roam this stuff. Do you want to see Nate Nate and some mod play? Some mod maps play? That could be something we do in the future. Transport cars with vodka, dog cages, weapons. Wow. Oh, this truck is awesome. This truck is awesome. My goodness. 
<laughs> Dude, look at this. The, there's the E-Class. Yo, should we use the E-Class? What do you guys think? Should we use the E-Class on this? I've never used it. That's the only reason I think I would use it, is just because I never used it. <clears throat> it's the most OP truck in the game. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, I got a question though. Is is it worth like winching the second truck? Like if you have two medium logs, is it worth winching the second truck along as well? Oh, it's almost a submarine. Wow. It's not OP. Alright, so we're gonna cruise down here. I'm gonna go to this next. I'm really gonna hold high gear for this. Are you serious right now? This is an eight point train itself without winching truck. Wait, really? What do you mean? Okay, I believe you. You can only train. I thought only long logs are, are six points. Four on the add on four. Really? That's how you can do the Mastodon? Okay, we're going to try that. <clears throat> Maybe we'll try that when we cross. That's, that's true. That is what it does in real life. <laughs> That is what it does in real life. Ah, uh, dude. Thanks, man. Um, this is very interesting. Very, very interesting. I can't see junk right now. If I go out to like this little point, I can't see anything. Doesn't look too deep though. You get up to six points with logs. Wait, what was somebody saying? Four with the add-on, four with the trailer. Does it have its own, like, medium log trailer for, its, for itself? I think I'm going to try crossing, like, here. Even though... i got a feeling... That's not what I should have done. How I wish did I have? Wow, dude. I don't know if I can make this. Here, I don't think I can make this here. I don't know, we're gonna try it. see the bottom. <laughs> okay, maybe we can make it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought.
Alright. How much point? What is this? Watch point Charlie, I think. Is that three? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back over. I might try to go across this side and see how that's this side moves. I don't know. Let's try it, you know? Let's, let's try this side. Let's cross here. I want to just see. Oh, nice. We're getting some light. Actually, that's, that was watch point Delta, I think. Wait, look at this. I crossed here. Right, wait, right here. And I made it. This doesn't seem bad. I'm going to try this. We're going to go like to here. And I'm just going to go. Yeah. I'm actually really surprised how deep of water this actually traversed without taking too much damage. I'm very, very impressed. Let's back this down a little bit. I don't need to spin that much. I'm not going to go that fast anyways. I'm progressing much better than you. <laughs> Why I was so bad on this map? Well, to be honest, <clears throat> let's be honest here. I do have folks in chat that are, you know, giving me tips and stuff like that. So there is that. So I wouldn't. Don't give me too much credit here. We're out. That's good. Um, we go up here, and then I think there's some watch point there. After that, yeah, it's pretty much set in set in space. And then I'm gonna go put this truck in a position to, to refuel. I'm gonna grab probably the E. Actually, I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not going to grab the, the Mastodon yet. Or the E7310. Not yet. I'm going to use that for the crossing. The crossing uh, mission. I'll use another truck for these ones. Because this is like kind of like on the same island. No. Nate makes it look easy. Well. I guarantee you if, if I was using like a one star truck it would be bad. If I was using a scout, we would we would be in a, di a totally different scenario. I guarantee it. There'd probably be a little bit of rage quitting. Enjoy the easiest setups. Yeah, I'm gonna try to enjoy it for the most part. Ooh. And look at look at how this takes the, the terrain. Like why can't we have this in SnowRunner? Why? Like why? Like look at it. Look at the, the suspension flex, the frame flex. It looks beautiful. Like why why do they deviate? I don't get I don't get why they deviated. Let's go, baby. Take a sip of coffee for this. If you don't like suffering, so Mudrunner's not your game. Yeah, I'm. Well, I mean, to be honest, man, Snowrunner's kind of suffering too. You suffer pretty bad in Snowrunner. Okay, I'm actually gonna do something here. I'm gonna put my. This truck is actually gonna go here and be my refueler. It's actually good a good way to kind of like segue into the next next part of this. This mission. This will be like a multi-purpose 
multi-mission actually because for trucks that are going to cross that river they can refuel right before they cross and then for trucks that are going to get logs there as well they can just refuel there too so this is this is very it just this game just feels good man i don't know i know it's not fast it's not as exciting there's not as much cargo the colors aren't vibrant man you know it's it's like this man you guys remember like back in the day like when we had like playstation one so like i'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm this is gonna be a terrible reference okay but like resident evil one on on playstation back in the day like we didn't care about graphics like we didn't care that they look the graphics looked real right what's going on wow something is something's going crazy right now i lost all control <laughs> i lost all control of my movement give me a second here there we go hold on okay oh my controller movement it was like it was locked but like yeah i mean we just like good storyline and it kind of like to this i think we just in my opinion i think i just like good gameplay but yeah snow runner is definitely superior let's let's be real <laughs> most scouts drive like bogo trucks yeah it is it does feel a little bit more arcade yeah, it does. It does feel arcade-ish. Okay, um... I'm gonna grab this truck here. I'm just gonna recover to the garage. And then we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna swap, swap out some stuff. And we're gonna pull some logs. Does this have a long log carrier? No, it doesn't. It's a medium. I kind of want to do the short log carrier and the short log frame. Do I have this? I know I do. I know I do. There it is. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so there's only one lumber mill. Wait, there's really only one lumber mill? Is that true? I thought there was two lumber mills. I thought there was a lumber mill like over here somewhere. Was am I seeing things? Was I seeing things? Okay, there's one. Okay, so if that's the case, whoa, dude. Oh, this is good news. He comes with a half a tanker. That's actually nice. But. Wait. There is two. There is two lumber mills. Is that what you're saying? Dude, look at this thing, dude. This thing is massive. So it has a medium log. Oh, okay, so it can basically pull seven points. It can pull seven points. Wait, is there a way to pull eight or no? Or wait, is this? Wait, right? I can do trailer this, right? And that's two sets of mediums? Because there's no... There's no medium extension trailer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that can do this, right? All right. Let's do this. I've never tried this before, but we're going to try it. Wow, look at this thing. Look at that fuel consumption. 
It can rescue anything. I believe it. Wow, man. I can't imagine how bad the fuel consumption is on, uh, on hard mode. Eight hundred liters of fuel. I can go auto on this, okay. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go all the way down log station and then we're gonna carry it over. How much is the Mastodon got? Ah, uh, shoot, I don't even know. It's a lot though. Oh, uh, it's it's over. It's it's definitely over 101, 101 gallons. It might be like 130. No, I forget. It's definitely more than the 605R. I don't know. The crazy thing is, I don't know because I don't use it much <laughs> off the top of my head. Wow, dude, this thing just stays in third gear. Look at this thing, man. I gotta say, it's actually really nice to play this truck without having crazy small crane, low saddle. <laughs> it's just, it does what it does. I'm not as gray as here as Mudrunner. Okay, so the colors are more, are better in your opinion? Okay, nice. CBM vehicles, basically, yeah. Dude, first person in the Mastodon is probably terrible, bro. Terrible. Look, it just stays in third gear. Yo, old number 97 here. 800 liters of fuel, bro. So you said the Mastodon has 500 liters in, in SnowRunner? Is it really 500? Is that is that with everything? Like, all the fuel add-ons and stuff? It's definitely not as much as the Kenworth. I know that for sure. I'm pretty sure Kenworth has... I think Kenworth actually might be like number, is it number two? Just the truck tank is 500 liters on the Mastodon? No, I mean the Mastodon SnowRunner. I don't think so. Because 380 liters, 101 gallons is what 605R has. I don't think they would give the Mastodon 500 liters of fuel. Matter of fact, I don't I don't think any truck has 500 liters in SnowRunner right now. Yeah, I don't I don't think any truck does. May I mean actually hold on, may, maybe there might be the only one I could probably see is the the Cat 770G. Now I want to fire up SnowRunner and look. The Kenny is 510. Just just fuel tank? What is that, 135 gallons? Is that what that is? 
Well, it's either 135 or 133, I think. I want to fire up SnowRunner right now. But what's eco-friendly mean? What's that mean? Mastodon has 500? Okay. Okay, that's probably why I don't know. <laughs> that's probably why I don't know the leaders, because I usually use gallons. So, sorry about that. Okay, so what does the 770G have? I'm pretty sure the 770G is the has the most amount of fuel, I thought. Ecologists burn zero liters. Oh, burn a hundred? That's five thirty? Okay. So I think I think the Tank size goes 770G Kenworth, and then it would have to be Mastodon. Alright, let's uh, do a little refuel job here, and then do a little crossage. I have a favorite truck in Mudrunner yet? Um, I would say probably the 4310. Yeah, the 4310 is kind of like my, my jam right now. That one, the 6511, the 4310. That one's pretty nice right there. I forget what that one is. It's, I forget what that is. What is that? The 6317. The Dairy 4 is 400, yeah. I, I did remember the Dairy having... The Dairy 40, 520 having a very large fuel tank. Which it kind of needs. Look at the, the wood shifting around. Alright, let me take a quick look here. Just so I'm not like... Just sending myself off to drown. <laughs> and I think it's just straight ahead, honestly. But we'll figure it out when we get there. I'm taking a picture of this too, guys. I'm sorry. I, I, I very, I'm very sorry. As I get washed down the river. Yeah, you can change the uh, the air pressure on spin tires. It is a really, really cool mechanic. It's a pretty sweet mechanic in uh, in expeditions too, but I just don't think it should come over to mud or to snow runner. I think it would break the game. I think it would break the game in snow runner. Yo, what's up, Splo? Welcome in. I really do. I think it would break it because. If you have any type of multi multiplier for like mud, dirt, 
on like a highway tire and you just decrease your your deflation you effectively can just make the game simple yeah basically it would, it would make the game a walk in the park basically it's just like district district said it, it really would where is that is there where's the path I'll figure it out when I get across let's just go I just think if they do that, it's going to make... See, the thing is, like, I have... The, the most amount of questions I get are about tires. I still get questions about tires on even just stream VOD posts. And even after putting out three videos on tires, um, people are just so confused. And the, and the Jack Tire Pack really didn't help. It kind of made things worse. It just made people so much more confused. So I think if adding adding that in, it's just gonna, yeah. Like why buy a jet tire pack if I can just deflate my highway tires and I don't know. Soft average. I mean yeah, maybe Would that be better than playing Winch Runner. Honestly, I don't. I think the game should be hard. I think the game should be hard. Like the game should have difficulty where it, the game gives you enough to survive and you have small victories that keep leading to an eventual breakthrough. If they actually develop the tires on their own and not from spin tires and mutter. Yeah. Have I played a D35? Uh, 535, 537? Yeah, I did. A little bit. Not too much. It's pretty beastly, too. Yeah, that's a pretty beastly truck, actually. Hmm. I need to get... I need to make a right-hand turn. What am I doing? I don't know. I don't think I can get this big boy through the trees. What's up, Doc? Welcome in. Good morning. No, there's gonna be manor lords today. There will be manor lords. I don't. I, we actually. I, I don't know if I'm gonna pivot over and play manor lords after this or not. Have I done them U.S. maps? No, we haven't done them yet. I think after this, we start playing the DLC, the first DLC maps, and then, yeah, we will be we will be playing the the U.S. maps for sure. Can I hold high gear up this? Massive don't. That's realistic though. You shouldn't be able to hold high gear up that mountain or that hill. You should have to go down to low gear. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play American Wilds. I'm definitely excited to play American Wilds. But yeah, Dirt, I'm definitely going to play some Manor Lords today. I, I'm trying to figure out how to craft craft like a lot of armor and stuff like that in the game. It's getting it's getting very complex. I want to finish the the economy mode and I want to move on to like more of a conquest style type where we can actually have some have some battles. wonder if you want the true first experience to be honest man the 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 version that i have which is the the early release which is not going to be the actual release is not going to be until uh the 26th 
there is going to be a lot of things I think added. So I don't I don't know if it's going to spoil it for you or not. It might just might just give you some. If anything, I can say this. If anything, it'll help you not go into it and and just kind of uh, spend so much time trying to just figure it out because it is very complex. Uh, I I will say that. It is. It's very in depth. Chronologically, American Wilds go after the valley, the ridge. Yeah, I'm gonna do the valley, the ridge first. I definitely am. Okay, Masta don't. I like this man. It's not a super fast truck, it's just slow, grind it out, it chews up fuel like it probably should. <laughs> Being this big of a truck, hauling this much. The chassis bend mechanic. Honestly, man, I think I think a lot of the way these a lot of the ways these trucks interact with the surface in this game, it just feels it feels it feels better. It it, it does feel better. I think not every truck is like crazy like unbalanced i mean yeah you guys have seen me flip over but that was uh you know I'm, i was pushing the limit there which most of the time you don't really have to push the limit so you know the music is starting this beast this hulk of a truck They do, they feel, they do feel heavy. Like, even, even though, I mean, I'm carrying a ton of weight too, and this thing just feels super heavy. What am I doing? Just leave it in auto. it is there it is guys the deluge that is it time played one hour that is the shortest amount of time I've ever played a map on, on this game it's crazy I, I guarantee you though on hard mode it would not be that I think so too, dirt. I think so. I think so. Okay, so Delu just complete the bog, the island, seashore, crossing downhill. Next would be the valley. Yeah, the next would be the valley. After that would be the ridge. After that's Rocky Hills. Um. Yeah. I just want to take a quick look at this real quick. Whoa! It's we giving me this it. truck. We did it! We did it! No! <laughs> wow! It's giving me this truck. I kind of might. I might. Let me jump in here real quick. Let's just take a quick gander at what is to come. Whoa, dude. Look at this scout. Fuel station. Two lumber mills up there. Garage there. Whoa, garage there too? Huh. Log station, log station. This is going to be very, very interesting. This is going to be very interesting. I do like how they gave me, whoa, the E7429, which is, dude. I'm excited to play this next time. Yeah, definitely excited to play this next time. But that, guys, is basically going to be it for Mud Runner today. I'm actually going to stop the stream and then we'll pivot over to Manor Lords 
and then I'll I'll set everything up on OBS, pivot over, and then we'll play some Manor Lords today for a little bit too as well. Tomorrow, um, let's see. I actually have a job interview, two of them actually tomorrow. So tomorrow I doubt I'll be playing much. If I do, it might be in the afternoon. So I think what's going to happen is if I don't stream tomorrow, Mudrunner, I will stream Mudrunner on Friday. So it's kind of up in the air. I could stream tomorrow. I could not. It's just going to have to see how long my interviews go and, and all other stuff. So, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for stopping in today and watching some mud runner with the deluge map. Next time will be, I think it's, what is it? The Valley, the Valley will be next. So that'll be really cool. So yeah, if you guys want to stick around, you can just hang out in the channel right now. I'm going to end the stream and then fire up Manor Lords configure the stream as such and then we'll get started on or we'll pick up where we left off last episode so as it, anyways guys thank you guys for stopping out it's been great it's been fun i'm gonna go pivot over and play some manor lords if you don't if i don't see you till friday or see you till tomorrow as always god bless and stay upright